Wow. That's my one word description of this of this episode of the Audiophiliac Daily Show, because I asked for pictures of you, you with your system, and you delivered big time. And thank you to everyone who sent who took the time to take pictures and send them in. Can't use them all, but thank you to everyone. Um, but the sheer diversity of the systems and how they're used and the rooms and everything is different. Um, but the stipulation for this go round is that you need it to be in the picture, not necessarily your face, just in some version of you needed to be in the picture. That's what I got. And I like seeing you. I like seeing you with your systems. It's it's really exhilarating for me. I'm not kidding around. So without any further ado, let's get to it. First up, Daniel, a man and his hi-fi. He has Kef Q150s, Edifier P17s, and a Griffin 20. It's a 20 watt amplifier. He, by the way, he, he points out he has his own YouTube channel. It's called Bass Therapy. Meet Miro. He ha this is his home recording system, but he has 1,200 LPs that he now has in alphabetical order. He has a 30-year-old Soda Sapphire turntable, a Parasound JC3 preamp, an Adcom GFP750 preamp, a Bryston 4B SST2 amplifier, and Tannoy speakers. Hey, let's 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 meet Tim. Tim, you're you're a happening guy, obviously. He's from Lithuania. He's running a Sony STR1080 AV receiver that he's streaming title on. He also has a Panasonic UBD480 4K Blu-ray player. His speakers include Sony SS CS3, uh, Sony SS CSE for Atmos for height. His center speaker are Q Acoustics Q2000 CIs, and there's a back pair of USSR designed and made Radio Technica S30 speakers. He is a serious guy. Oh, the speakers were made in 1983. And his dog, by the way, is Joker. Hey, this, this listener here, his name's Alex. He's 17 years old. He's living in Germany. He's got some pretty, a pretty serious system. He has Dyne Audio Contour 1.3 Mark 1s. I have those somewhere. Uh, his amp is a Denon DRA735R. He's using a laptop, a Trekster Surfbook A13B. Pretty nice, Alex. You're doing, you're doing good. That guy's relaxing. His, oh, his name is Luke. He lives in Oregon. He has DeVore Fidelity 093 speakers, a first watt SIT3 amplifier, a first watt J2 amplifier. He has an Audio Research Ref 150. I think that's a preamp. Uh, no, maybe it's a power amp, sorry. Uh, PS Audio BHK preamp, a Modrite PH150. The DAC is a Lampazator Atlantic SE. He has a Lin LP12 Accurate with upgrades, a Lin Crystal cartridge. So yeah, I'm, I met Ben uh, when I went to SkyFi in New Jersey to look at a lot of uh, vintage gear. And he sent this this great collage shot of a Pioneer SX1980 receiver, a Sansui G2200 receiver, and a Harman Kardon Citation One preamp. So Corey's uh, chilling. I like this shot a lot. The receiver is a Marantz NR1609. The speakers are Dali Spectre Twos. Turntable is an NADC. 556. There's a Yamaha CDC 585 uh, CD changer, and he has Cos Porter Pro headphones. Really nice shot. Thank you. Clyde sent two shots, and I absolutely had to run both because it's kind of a then and now situation. So the first one is his 1980s system, which consisted of Alltech Lansing, 
voice of the theater speakers, the home, the home version, a Rotel RA1312 integrated amp, an, an NAD CD player, a Nakamichi cassette player, and a Sansui tuner. So that was the 1980s. For Clyde's 2019 home theater system, he's using Focal Aria 948s as the main left and right speakers, uh, Focal CC 900 center speaker, Focal Chorus 800 Atmos speakers, uh, SVS SB2000 subwoofers, he actually has two of those. Um, there's a Audio GDC1 Master Mono Block Amp, there's two of those. Uh, there's also a Yamaha CXA5200 preamp processor, a Panasonic 4K EX780 TV. When I got this picture from Lance, I wasn't sure where he was. He assures me that he's in the reflection in the top, whatever that is, the, the TV or window. I'll take your word for it that they're there. But he, Lance is running a Musical Fidelity New Vista M3 integrated amp, a Musical Fidelity Tri Vista 21 DAC, an acoustic research fully modded turntable with a Denon 304 cartridge. There's an Oppo UDP203 uses a transport and a 4K player. The speakers are Vanderstein 2CE signatures. There's also a Vanderstein VCC1 center channel. There's a Velodyne HGS12 sub. Okay, Alan, <laughs> I like where, you're, where you positioned yourself in that picture. He has a Marantz PM11S1 integrated amp, a Marantz SA8005 SACD CD player, a Marantz NA6006 network streamer, Turntable is a Thorin's TD160 with lots of DIY upgrades and an Audio Technica 440 MLB cartridge. There's also a Technics SL1200 Mark II turntable. Richard has a 1969 Garrard 401 turntable in a custom plinth with an SME3009 tone arm. There's an Ortofon 2M Black a DIY tube phono preamplifier, and a modded Lin DSM amp. There are Dolly Opticon 8 speakers, those have ribbon tweeters, and dual rail T91i subwoofers. Jason, how you doing? Jason has a custom-built PC that he created with all solid-state drives, so there's no clicks or buzzing sounds coming from this very silent PC. He's using a Shit Mati 3 DAC, and he has Presonus 4.5 studio monitors. Um, he's, he's digging his sounds. Hey, <laughs> Devon, how you doing? He has Revel 208 speakers, an LG OLED 65-inch TV, a Rotel A14 amp, and he has headphones. He has Focal Elears and a Sony Blu-ray player. Luca sent two pictures. This first one is, is of his two-year-old son, Carlo, staring into the reflection of a Macintosh MC2105 power amplifier. Uh, there's also a Shit Saga preamp. The speakers are ELAC Debut B6. There's a Phono preamp, uh, Shit Manny. Turntable is a Project Essential 2. For digital, he's running Chromecast to play Tidal through a Shit Mati DAC. So he's saying, fear not for the future. He's 28 years old. His son is two years old, very involved in audio. Thank you guys for sharing. That's Mike. He's got a Pioneer 15-inch CSG403 and a 1980s Pioneer RX 511 receiver and a pair of Sirwin Vega VS-150s. Pretty cool. What do we got here, Lucas? Lucas is 21 years old. He's also from Germany. He has B&W 686 S2 speakers driven by an Onkyo TX 7600 integrated amp. He has a Marantz CD38 and an Onkyo CP 
1200A turntable with an Ortofon Sonar cartridge. Uh, he likes to mix vintage and contemporary stuff. David. David is a home theater guy, clearly. He's running a Denon AVR-X8500H receiver, but he also plays records. He's got a Technics SL1700 from about 1976 with a Shure M35C cartridge. Let me tell you, <laughs> David has a lot of uh, PSB speakers, but I'm going to hit the high points here. The, the front speakers are Imagine X2T. He's got Atmos speakers from PSB. He's got a PSB Center and PSB Surrounds and Height speakers. Whole lot of PSB going on there. And the subwoofer is, of course, a PSB. It's a Sub 200. And the TV, in case you were wondering, is an LG 65 4K 3D. Nice going. In case you uh, haven't noticed, let me point out Leonard here. He is into tape, though he does play records on a Dual CS1268 turntable with an Audio-Technica 440ML cartridge. And he has a Cora phono preamplifier and uh, an Adcom GFA 5400 power amp and a Sherwood EQ200 equalizer. He only uses that for poor uh, recordings. Uh, but he has, here we go for tape. He has a Harman Kardon CD-401 cassette deck, two TIAC Z6000 cassette decks, a Nakamichi 6A2 ZX, a Technics RSB905, there's a mini disc player, a Sony MDS JE320, there's an Akai GX747 DBX open reel, this is Gary. His turntable is a Riga P9 with a Benz Micro LP cartridge. The tuner is an Accuphase T1100. The CD player streamer is a Marantz ND8006. He has a cassette deck from NAD, the 613. The amplifier is a Carry 300B. Preamplifier is also Carry. It's an SLP05 with upgrades. Power amp is a Zesto Andros 1.2. DAC is a Shit Jagersal. Power conditioner is an Audience AR6. La -de -la -de -la. And there's some tweaks in there. He's, he's, he's into it, definitely. Luke has two MTXAA 2230B speakers. They're big speakers. They have dual 12 inch woofers. They're inexpensive, but he says they're a good party brand speaker. A lot of get up and go. They're being driven by a JVC RX 6008V, but he's thinking about moving up to a Yamaha RX A2030. And uh, he's doing, he's a happy camper. Oh, he's using an Audio Technica um, 120 USB turntable. This is Christian. He's a little shy. He doesn't want to show his face. So we got his feet and his dog. His dog's name is Bella. Uh, there's an NAD T758V3 Emotiva XPA1 500 watt mono blocks. His speakers got a lot of speakers. They're dollies. They're Opticon 6 is his main front speaker. Um, vocal center speaker. Blue on wall surround speakers. There's a Canton AS25. It's his temporary active subwoofer. That's going to change. There's a Project RP1 turntable. There's also an NAD PP2E phono preamp, a Technics SLPG3 as his temporary CD player that he's saving from his youth <laughs> or something like that. There's a Samsung Q LED. Q9 FN 55 inch TV and and to finish it off a Sony PlayStation that he's using as a temporary Blu-ray player. Andy, he's another guy, a little shy, got his feet though. So he has a Prima Luna Dialog preamp, a Marantz TT 15 turntable, a clear audio virtuoso cartridge, a Fosgate signature phono preamp, a Denon DVD 2900 SACD DVD player, a Denon DRM 800 cassette deck, Cocktail Audio X50 streamer, and CD ripper. Pretty nice. 
it's time to enjoy some nice music. Woofer and Tweet. I like where you're going here. So he's not specific here, but he just says there's MagnaPan speakers, TAD speakers, and Zoo Audio speakers, electronics from Pass Labs, First Watt, Parasound, Shit Audio, DCS, and for analog, uh, SME. Okay, sure. This is Al's system uh, that includes teal speakers, a soda sapphire turntable with an SME type 4 tone arm, a HANA SH cartridge, a PS Audio DL3 with Stage 4 mods by Rick Cullen, uh, an Oppo CD player, a Rogue RP5 preamp, a Rogue M120 monoblock amplifiers, a Velodyne subwoofer, and a Michigan Maple Butcher Block equipment stands. Pretty cool. Mark's keeping it simple here with a 1981 Klipsch Cornwall with Kreitz upgrades. He recently added a ESS Heil tweeter with a capacitor. Power is pretty simple. Mono price 50 watt tube, uh, I guess integrated amp, uses a preamp with an Onkyo 100 watt amp. He also uses the very popular Shit Loki equalizer and he's got a Tascam CD deck. <laughs> Last but not least, Steve. He's got a KD2055 turntable with an Ortofon 2M red cartridge, an Acurus DIA100 Mark II integrated amplifier. Uh, then there's some shit here. There's a Shit Audio Mani Phono preamp with a Shit Audio Loki equalizer. The speakers, uh, you recognize those guys. Elac Adante AS61s, and all. Then there's a homemade equipment rack. Very cool, Steve. Thanks a lot. Well, there you have it. And another incredible installment of uh, viewers' systems. I I get supercharged by this. I really do. So again, thank you to everyone who sent in pictures. Obviously, I couldn't use them all, but I tried. I think it was more this time around than usual. So thanks again. My name is Steve Guttenberg. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show. And uh, it's all about you. <laughs> it really is. It's all about you. And uh, if you like what I do, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit that little thing right down there. Um, you could follow me on Twitter at Audiophiliac Man. You can follow me on Instagram at steve.guttenberg. Um, let's see what else. Check out the playlist. There's playlist for more of these um, photo things that we're doing together, you and you guys and me. There's three other episodes or four. I'm losing track. Um, <clears throat> there's playlists for headphone reviews and speaker reviews and amplifier reviews and interviews. Tons of playlists. Please check them out. Hey, if you got this far, check out my Patreon at p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash audiophiliac. <laughs> Thank you again. Bye-bye.